Carlin High School and welcome to your student news. I'm Carly. I'm Madison. Here's what's in the news. Well, seniors, only two more wake ups. Thursday is our last day and the schedule is first, second, third, fourth, sixth. Which is when the seniors will go to the auditorium for the virtual graduation presentation. Then fifth in the senior picnic and finally seventh where the senior walk will take place after the underclassmen report to the seventh hour. Today is USA Day for all students and tomorrow's college day, so wear your college gear. Any senior interested in helping plan the baccalaureate, there will be a meeting today right after school in room 210 with Ms. Bogue. The Get Your Color Run on is today during sixth and seventh hours. Good luck runners and thanks for helping with a great cause. The required summer assignment for all current 10th graders registered for 11th grade AP composition for 2015-2016 school year is now available. You may acquire this assignment either from your current 10th grade te English teacher or in HHS classrooms 208 or 306. Please see Ms. Bell or Ms. Erickson if you have any questions. Any questions. Attention seniors, don't forget to sign up for the senior all night party. Permission slips can be found in the front office. Also seniors, last call for your cap and gown. If you have not ordered your cap and gown yet, you need to do so ASAP at the Justin site or go to room 201 for questions. Seniors, if you need to return a library book or pay a fine, you need to do so before you can receive your cap and gown. Also students, you need to bring your ID to pick up your yearbook um, tomorrow and Thursday. Now for sports. Congratulations to senior Ryan Lair from our varsity girls track team and senior John Nagel from our varsity boys golf team as Ryan and John are both Fenton State Bank Athletes of the Week. Special congratulations to the girls soccer team as they beat Novi for the first time in school history. The Eagles won 3-1 to one and Marissa Jane scored her first varsity goal. Softball team topped Wall Lake Norland last night 6-3 to three, while the baseball team crushed Waterford Kettering 11-1 behind a two-hitter thrown by Thomas Revit. Our boys lacrosse team advanced out of the first round of the regional topping Holt 12 to seven. Eric Shank tossed in four goals to lead the Eagles. Good luck to the baseball team as they take on Dexter at U of M Baseball Stadium. Start time is four. Well, that's all for your student news. I'm Danny. I'm Madison. I'm Dom. I am Carly Pika. <laughs> Have a great day, Heartland High School. Yay, Yay. USA, America.